hey what's up guys this is king vox and today i'm gonna be doing one arena so I'm th i think i'm gonna be doing ranked yeah i think i did i think i did q for ranked. but um i'm stepping back on a class that i haven't played in years i'm talking about since the very first year guild wars 2 came out and the reason for it is because of the rifle that i just bought with gold i kind of transferred all my gold into gems and got this rifle because i just thought it was awesome and i saw it and i was just like like it didn't look like this i mean well it did look like this mind you it did look like this and i was like that is probably one of the coolest looking rifles in cyber that i've ever seen a game so i went over and i'm just like you know engineer warrior who could i possibly play to be able to utilize this thing you know and i've been kind of ducking thief because man i put in hours on the thief like as you guys can see i haven't this is the first thief that i'm actually like really playing in so long let me see if i can find let me see so i have over 220 um four games um played with this character and this was so long ago it's so crazy it doesn't even make sense let's see let's see ranked games i don't think i've done too many ranked games wow let's see apparently i did all of them with my necro but you can see here games in total i think the thief has my second highest yeah so necro first and and thief but the thief came before necro i just got tired of thief i didn't really get tired of thief i told you guys in the last video not the last video but like in some of my previous videos that when i wanted to move servers to do more world versus world my world versus world server was dead and i there was no server transfers at the time so the only way for me to you know enjoy some world versus world was to delete all my characters and completely start over and i did that and i ended up on tarnished code and then a couple years later my wife ended up playing the game and she couldn't get on tarnished coast because it was a rank one tier one um world versus world server at the time so what we end up doing is you know going to maguma and that's where i've been ever since but this is my first time really coming back on on a character and then it was a character i played so much that i just couldn't see myself level one up another one now i'm not 100 percent sure that i'm going to level this guy yet um i'm still debating what race i want to be i love savari savari is my favorite race but i really love the way um you know the animations for this class this this race my bad i forgot the name of the race which is kind of sad char but yeah i really love the way charge shoot and stuff like that so this is going to be a game of me kind of relearning how to play um thief actually and i think this is really cool so i never had to be honest until this weapon i had no i i didn't really care for the class anymore like i thought it was over i thought i was never going to play this class again um it's one of those things it's just it's just really funny I, I don't play these type of classes in any other game um it's not really my play style um i love more of like casters and stuff like that but recently i'm starting to come back over to classes that are like really hard physical type damage and not casters you know so those you know agilic classes oh man here we go going inside a rank game hopefully my team doesn't get just completely wrecked i'm not going to be like those people that cut out scenes of me dying and stuff like that um, i'm going to give it to you guys raw so you guys are if we our team gets stomped really hard you guys are going to witness that and you guys can make fun of me for it all you want you know it's absolutely fine you know i know people got jokes in the comments um i really want to do skyhammer actually Let's see. Seems like a lot of other people want to do Skyhammer too, but just because of that, we're going to get Temple of the Silent Storm, which is fine because I like that map too. Oh, it's a 50 50 split or not. Or not. Maybe Skyhammer? No? Maybe. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. This isn't really an ideal map. I want kind of like a lot of space, but I play Thief so weird. I don't play the Thieves that like run and hide. I actually give people a chance. And I know when you're skilled enough on a thief, you can get to a point where you can completely deny people, um, you know, their rights. Like you can really become the law on a thief. And that's what I loved about a thief back in the day. 
and a little a little information for you guys um the reason why i picked thief when the game first came out look at that gun it looks so beautiful but the main reason i picked thief when the game came out is because at the time i wanted to play a ranged character i was really sick of melee and at the time rangers were bad rangers didn't have do a lot of damage range at all thieves out damaged them by a lot you know dual pistols and a short bow um bomb explosion was way better than anything that the ranger could do ranger was considered just a bad class um in general back then so i wanted a class that could do it all and at the time ranger you know was something new it looked so good all the melee attacks and stuff like that seemed all unique you guys ever play melee and, and see the rangers melee you see how it does like the little spirit stuff and all that stuff it's really cool the great sword beer slam and all that stuff it, it was all really nice looking but at the time they, they really didn't do much damage they were pretty gimped hard you know what i mean so someone you know had recommended i go thief because thief could kind of do it all they can do mid-range long range and they had all sorts of bursts now my reasoning for playing thief right now is because i'm kind of in that mode now where i want to kind of play range and when i play range with other characters you know i feel like they get burst down just as fast as thief like say a guardian oh my goodness um what is it called dragon hunter their bow is so dope let's see if we can let's see if we can be really cheap we can't we're out of range but you know what we can do all right all right one down we'll keep shooting him actually just auto attack him until someone else comes in like this guy came in like it was a bad idea for that guy boom boy we hit that guardian so hard this is just so so much fun like really it is just so right now we just chase the guardian and just auto attack him because you're, you're gonna kill him okay so this guardian is running and I took away all my things so I don't really have a way to get to him and this is very dangerous right here Damn. uh oh that was sad I'm gonna try to go invisible I took away I didn't realize how important that one skill was oh he blocked it what a good guy what a good guy in his block supply burn. So this is very dangerous playing around with this guy. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, no. Apparently, it's not dangerous playing around with this guy. Apparently, I don't care about this guy's feelings. Okay. And that's how you wreck a guardian. And let me see if I can catch your mid for a team without being wrecked by anyone. Um, I have a bow. But I, I got to get used to, like, teleporting away. I haven't, mind you guys, I haven't played this class in, like, probably three years probably longer than that dude <laughs> it's been it's been quite a quite a long time to be honest i played thief for the first year and a half of guild wars 2 and i literally only played thief like i would not play anything else i didn't really care for anything else i felt like i had everything that my class you know everything i wanted to do all in one class which the thief is it's really cool um and the squishiness of it i know for you new players or whatever um, that are out there you guys are probably like oh I can't handle it because it's really squishy you kind of learn to dance you kind of learn how to survive on on certain classes like this over time so when I first started out on thief for the first like two months I was just full berserker and I was getting like wrecked I was killing other people but I didn't know how to survive and now being more experienced I know that what happens is you you get um you get used to it and you become really good at surviving and you get you know the confidence to go execute your plan whatever that plan may be um holy crap okay so we're gonna go up here because i have her marked and i have a lot of damage right now to unload and oh my god this is not this is this is not smart okay let's see if i can let's see if i can stove out of here oh my god so I managed to stealth out of there. Let's see. All right, he blocked. Let me see if I can find anyone else. 
All right, so we're gonna try to hit her. Oh, I missed her. Oh, and I missed her again. Oh, this is not good. Oh. Go still. Look, people are just, okay, I guess I can sit back down. Oh, I guess I can hit her with a nuke. Oh, no, nope, no, nope. she's, she used that, okay. There's no one really to hit butt her. So I'm just gonna keep spamming her until it comes off. And boom, it came off and she died. And if this person, that's it, that's it. Everyone's dead over here. That's kind of sad. It's kind of sad that we're wrecking these guys like this. Oh. Knock you away and I'll sit down, hit you with that. And if you block that, hit you with this. Oh. And he's blocking everything. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm still learning how to play this class, but I feel like when I learn how to play this class, I feel like it has a lot of a lot of um opportunity to just be really nasty. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I'm gonna be dead honest with you guys. I'm just spamming buttons. As you see, so this is how I relearn thief um a lot. What I do is boom, 14,000. But what I do is I get a bunch of stealths because you know like that's how you be a noob on a thief you get a bunch of stealths and you just hide from anything that even looks slightly dangerous so i don't know why this guy keeps running up on but the cool thing is they have enough damage to burst people down like that um hopefully someone gets me up oh no oh no that other little thief you bastard What do I do? What do I do? I guess look for people. I look for people to pick out. You know how like rogues used to do back in the day in World of Warcraft, like bad rogues, what they would do is they would just like hide and wait for someone else to jump on you. And then they would jump on you. That's that's what you gotta do. So we're gonna mark this guy. We're gonna hit him up. If this guy thinks he's just going to sit there and just Okay. He's like pretty much dead now. There's like really nothing he can do. He can heal all he wants. He can heal all he wants. This auto attack is really nasty. <laughs> so this is what you do. You pick people out from the, from the bottom. Like right now, I have a team. The other team's really bad, so I'm having a really great time. But trust me, when there's like good thieves on the other team, they specifically target you if they see that you're like rifle hunting or rifle squatting, I would call it, where you just sit there and just wait. And like this guy just went invisible, it seemed. Um, oh, I don't know if I can kill her. Okay. She. That was weird. That was very weird. I don't know why she didn't. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna jump down that way. I'll jump down this way and see what happens. I'll go invisible. Okay, so here she is right there. And I don't think she has her immunity either. So she's kind of just like screwed, which sucks. Like, <laughs> and then this guy, this guy has a lot of blocks. So I'm gonna sit there and auto attack until I feel like he's, here we go. And, and that's pretty much it. That's all you do in a thief. It's so it's so fun and it's so rewarding. I wish I had a ascendant set, a light ascendant set. I would have been like so happy. Let's see. They got the thing, so they got everything captured. These things, Mollus is it's really cool. I would have never thought in a million years that they would give Thief some type of like assassin spec, like range assassin, like it's pretty crazy. I love the way this gun folds up. Okay, someone's coming back down again. She's gonna pop her thing, I bet. Is she? If she's not, I'm gonna auto attack her to death. She's crazy. Girl, you crazy. Then knock her away just like that and just follow up with like more damage. like. It's so easy. Then you go stealth, and then she feels like it's safe to come out, and then you hit her with this 9,000. She's dead. There's no way she's alive after that.
and then you go invisible and you stomp well I didn't that wasn't a good I that wasn't a good example of going invisible and stomping but I really love the way Char looks I might I love Savari but Savari animations are kind of like uh, uh, I don't know but what do you guys think you guys comment down below what you think my thief race should be now my original thief was a human and that was all nice and everything but I really I guess really love Savari they're just really dope um, I was even thinking considering Azora but I don't know because I've made I don't know I've made and deleted tons of this let's try to oh snaps this is just not really good right here this this is the funny thing about um what you call it? It's revenants. They have a lot of damage, but they have like no sustain like whatsoever. So pretty much you only have to wait a couple seconds whatever to be able to kill them. And if you have an immunity, you can pretty much kill them really easily, especially as a thief. So a lot of thieves tend to like hound them, but I don't do it because I, I once made that class and I know how it feels. <laughs> so I don't be like the D, the D bag that just like hunts down the revenant, but if he's on my pad, I'm, you know, I'll kill him. I'm not going to go out of my way to go all extra. But that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. I'm going to probably continue doing ranked games and rank up some more. And that's a good way of getting gold, too. If you newer players didn't know, do PvP as PvP, especially ranked PvP. It's probably the highest gold income in a game. Little end tip for you guys that stayed through and watched the video. Thank you so much.